A soapbox I can stand upon God gave me a stage, a guitar and a song My daddy told me, son, don't you get involved in politics, religions, other people's quotes I'll paint the picture, let me set the scene I know when I have children, they will know what it means And I'll pass on the things my family's given to me Just love and Standing positivity We could change this whole world with a piano Add a bass, some guitar, grab a beat And away we go I'm just a boy with a one-man show No university, no degree But Lord knows everybody's talking about exponential growth And the stock market crashing in their portfolios While I'll be sitting here with a song that I wrote Saying love could change the world in a moment But what do I know? Good morning, C.E. Cole, Mr. Sola, and Mrs. Kerr here again for morning announcements. It is Thursday, February 25th. It is a day five in the cycle. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. you may have your seats, and we're going to send it over to Mr. Payne for the weather report. Take it away. Thank you so much, Mrs. Kerr and Mr. Sola. I'm glad to bring you your weather update today. Finally, some sunlight. Yesterday was a beautiful sunny day, 52 degrees. Today, it's going to be a little colder, maybe only 42, reaching 45 at the most. But it's going to be super sunny, and let me tell you, it's important you get outside, even if it's a little chilly on these sunny days. The sun, getting sunlight on your skin is actually really good for you, because getting sunlight helps your brain re re release these neurotransmitters called serotonin. And what serotonin does is it helps boost your mood, it helps you feel really good, it helps you feel really good in your brain and all throughout your body. So today, since it's super sunny, get outside, get some of that serotonin going. All right, back to you, Mr. Solo and Mrs. Kerr. Thank you for that weather report, Mr. Payne. Um, today, I actually have some weather-related idioms. Remember, idioms are phrases that do not mean what exactly the words say, okay? So the first one is, if you're snowed under. We've been having a lot of snow lately, and there are a lot of things that are still covered with snow, but that's not what the idiom means. The idiom means you have a lot of work to do. If you are snowed under with schoolwork, you got a lot of assignments that are backing up. Another one that has to do with the weather is if you're feeling under the weather. Okay. Under the weather doesn't mean that you're outside experiencing the rain or the snow or the sunshine. It means that you are not feeling too well that day. Yeah, okay. um, a third weather-related idiom is if you if somebody asks you to do something and you say, I'll take a rain check, that doesn't mean that they're giving you a wet, rainy check. It means you can't accept that invitation this time, but you would like to go another time. Right. And my favorite is if you tell somebody, that's a storm in a teacup. That, that idiom doesn't mean that there's something brewing in your teacup. It means that you're worked up, you're worried about something that is really a small problem. So when you, have, when you have a small problem and you get really riled up, that's a storm in a teacup. Uh, I've never heard that one before. It's funny, too, because I'm having tea this morning. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, being Thursday, February 25th, it is National Chocolate-Covered Peanuts Day. One of my favorite. Chocolate-covered anything, really. Chocolate-covered pretzels, strawberries, pe but today's Peanuts Day, so if you got some chocolate-covered peanuts, eat some peanuts. And there's a couple birthdays for today. We have the Beatles, George Harrison. He would have been 78 today. And uh, American wrestler Ric Flair. Some of you might know who he is if you watch wrestling. Ric Flair is the guy who used to go, woo, with that big loud yell every time and get everybody fired up in the crowd. So happy birthday to him too. Boys and girls, try to keep a positive attitude while you're out there, okay? We're hitting, we're almost done with February. We're getting to March soon. That's pretty sweet. The weather's getting nicer. There's always some kind of positivity out there to try to find no matter what's going on. So keep a positive attitude. Keep your Chromebooks charged. 
clear the cache up in the top corner with those snowman dots. I'm sure your teachers have showed you how to do that. Clear your cache, be, have your Chromebook charged, have your supplies you need, your notebooks, your pencils if you're taking notes. Be ready for school, boys and girls. And again, attitude is everything. Don't forget, Mr. Sola, oh. we have a book fair going on and an advertisement for it you, you can find on Class Dojo. Yeah, Mrs. 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 Diaz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mrs. Diaz sent out information on Class Dojo about the book fair, boys and girls. It's virtual this year, so go and check that out. Some really cool books on yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great day, boys and girls. See you later.